Hey guys, welcome to a new video of Free 9 Dushan here. Uh, in today's video, I'm just gonna deal with my waste acid. Uh, I need to clean up this uh, little barrel with the all uh, Aquaregia and AP solutions uh, because I, I need that barrel to put uh, new waste acid inside. So, uh, you already see that a couple of times how it's actually work this uh, right disposal uh, of uh, waste assets. So here I got, you see, here I got uh, maybe about a 30 liter of old acid. And uh, I already tell you that this uh, inside the metal uh, scrap from old computer and the printers it's very good for its cementation the reason is uh, because this type of metal cement copper in the very nice form like these you see this is a clean copper right now so if you see that uh, my solution is a uh, clear and uh, on the bottom I have copper, on this metal I have copper. All this is a copper, all this red. But uh, solution is clear. So what I'm gonna do right now, I will just remove all that sheets. Yeah, you see that? Like over there, all this copper. Uh, I'm gonna remove this and uh, I will uh, collect all the copper right now this solution contain unactive acid it's uh, mostly a water only uh, material in the acid you see by the color is the iron uh, so uh, it's very safe to just dispose uh, dispose that in the nature, but uh, I don't do that uh, What I do I just uh, put that in the five liter plastic bucket bucket like this So I feel uh, it's a cheap here when I buy distillated water and uh, drink water for my house or for something I got a lot of that I just put uh, that acid inside of this little barrel and I take that barrel when I go in the near city I take that barrel and leave that on the junkyard who has deal to treat the waste uh, dangerous chemicals so uh, you don't want to dispose that even if now this acid is safe to dispose in the nature you don't need to do that if you have some uh, place who deal with uh, dangerous chemicals so uh, to dispose that in the right way so okay let's collect that i will now turn off camera and collect that old copper see how it's clear okay so i decant all that acid and like i said you see how that kind of uh, metal scrap leave you very nice copper foil very very nice copper foil so it's easy to melt in this way you see you see like a small copper shields so now I will uh, wash that couple of times with water that water I will add to this uh, saturated iron saturated acid put in that little barrels and uh, when I go to the near city I will uh, take that to that junkyard and leave that on the door the people who deal with the danger chemical and this is the metal which I will back in the next uh, which I'll, I will uh, back in the new batch so uh, I will leave that to cement more and more uh, copper and of course I will uh, add the more 
it's a very nice uh, this material from the printers and from the computers inside it's very very good for the cementation they give you very nice nice sheets of copper okay the barrel is clean and uh, the metal is clean so right now I will add just a new one new saturated acid to cementation okay guys so you see after a free four time wash with the hot water this is copper this is right now it's a clean copper no acid so uh, I will collect that in the metal dish and put that on the fire to remove water and collect that in some uh, glass jar uh, keep that for uh, melting okay okay guys so to, uh, I put that to dry this is all my copper which I harvest from this this round you see to dry and I put that collect that in the jar and I leave that for some time when I have some bigger amount I will melt that hey guys welcome to new video free and industry here on the beginning of this video I will just say one one word Nixdorf. Always when you see Nixdorf, definitely you buy Nixdorf for e-waste. Uh, for all these years I cross for a couple of uh, Winkor Nixdorf items and uh, always, always it's be uh, stocked with the ITs and some goodies. So always is a heavy, always is a good. Let's open that to see what we can find inside. The problem is, I cannot see any screws anywhere. So, the pro the probably I need to remove first this stuff here. When you see the Nixdorf, always buy that Nixdorf. This is the way. This is nice metal, metal shield. Everything is a metal. So they got paint. Uh, when uh, it's just a metal, I put that in the, my waste acid bucket to cement some uh, copper. But this side got some paint, so this go to scrap metal. Okay, let's see what we have here first. One little board. Yeah, look at that. How much tantalum, yellow tantalum. It's stocked with a yellow tantalum. Four side leg I see. Couple of small one. Two side leg. Two side leg. Some cables. Smaller board. Stocked with the small ITs. Some fan. And one supply board just uh, some copper coil here and here nothing too much but we got inside something more I will see when I remove that so let's see this is the Torex Okay, so a small board, four side leg, two side leg, some connectors with the gold, 
one crystal, one uh, one big MLTT is here, very funny, and the uh, other side some MLTTs and resistors. Nice little board. Uh, ribbon cable not contained. Okay, like I said, tantalum, four side leg, two side leg ITs, some gold connectors, very very small board, some resistors and MLTTs, but nice little board. Like I said, copper, copper, some ITs, little board, very small. So we got some, this is not a fan, this is actually a speaker, gold connector here, but here we got some round board with some LED lights, all this is a LED lights, but I don't know if you see got some gold plated part on the end of every light yeah you can keep that like a window cable gold plated connector more here One small micro board, some silver plating there, some gold LED light right there, some cable, gold plated connector, and here we got some more one potentiometer from that micro, micro board. You see some silver plating inside some gold connector here and let's see what we have here well nothing this is just one big piece of uh, metal shield and uh, yeah this go to scrap very heavy this go to scrap okay some small backlane board four side leg one small some MLTTs and some like a gold plated finger but much less quality of gold let's remove this aluminium shield more scrap metal it's a screen for me, it's just a waste. Some people actually collect that screens for uh, indium present inside, and I hope that someday this stuff will uh, will uh, worth something to sell somewhere. But I think that it's a long, long time for that. So I just. Uh, I just throw that in the my scrap metal pile and trust me on my junkyard they don't even a watch and just go that in the scrap metal for me okay so small resume on the end it's not too much actually but it's very small one item and uh, definitely worth for scrap so besides some amount of cable, one speaker, I sell that with my fans, couple of connector with the silver plating and the gold plating, couple of small board, some uh, LED diodes and uh, some uh, glass and the plastic and a lot of, of, of course, aluminium and a lot of scrap, it's a couple of kilogram of scrap steel. So uh, it's worth the scrap just for all that goodies definitely so uh, 
always, always when I find some Nixdorf, especially old Nixdorf computer, computer and uh, medical devices, definitely I take that because I am always satisfied. So, uh, see you around to the next video. Subscribe to my channel. Save scrap, make gold, have fun, and I will see you soon in the next video. Free Indusion out. Cheers.